Thank you very much. Kylie's Law went into effect in New Jersey on May 1st. Now, Kylie's Law requires drivers under the age of 21 to display a red decal on the front and rear license plate of their car to show they have a provisional license or permit. Now, those drivers are only allowed to have one passenger in the car with them at a time. The hope is it will avoid tragedies like the one that took the life of Kylie. Uh, in 2006, she was killed while riding in a car driven by another teen. After two weeks, there are efforts, however, underway to change Kylie's law to allow, well, siblings in the car and also perhaps to remove that decal. Uh, and others want to rescind the law completely, saying the red decals make teen drivers a target. New Jersey State Senator Tom Goodwin represents parts of Mercer and Middlesex counties. Uh, he wants those decals removed. Pam Fisher is the director of the New Jersey Division of Highway Traffic Safety. Uh, she supports the decals and say she says that they give the law. Uh, we should give the law. A chance, right, Pam? You want to wait out, wait this out before yeah. they do anything in Trenton. Yeah, that's exactly right, Greg. I mean, a tremendous amount of work, effort, and study went into this. This was not done in a vacuum. We had a teen driver study commission in New Jersey that was charged by legislation to evaluate what was happening with teens on the road, to look at the critical problems, make recommendations, provide those to both the legislature and the governor so that they could develop policy that was designed to eliminate the risk. Make it safer out there for teens and everybody on the road. So, this right. is a uh, well thought hey, out I process. I got you. I got to go to uh, State Senator Tom Goodwin. Your opinion? My opinion is uh, a wait and see attitude is the excuse to do nothing. Just passing it on to another bureaucracy is not the answer to this. Uh, when I go door to door and I meet my constituents, and they have a, a, a young driver, a daughter especially, they are concerned about this, that this red sticker on the license plates subjects their child to criminals and predators. And my bill will be to, to remove the red, the red sticker well, off the uh, license plate. Uh, Pam, what about that? I mean, it, it, it would, it does advertise. Somebody sees it, sees that red sticker, they know the person is younger, the person at the wheel is younger, and therefore perhaps more vulnerable. Isn't that a fair interpretation? Well, uh, it is to a degree, but understand that this is a generation of teenagers that are the most exposed they've ever been. They're all over Facebook. They're promoting themselves. They've got all their personal information out there. So as parents, it's our responsibility to educate, make sure our teens understand the risks associated with being out there. So that's not just about on the road, but it's all the things that are going right, on and, out and, there. And, and I have to, I I have Pam, to respectfully Pam, no. disagree with the senator. I understand you disagree. I do. Pam, I'm sorry. Pam, that's I fine, Pam. Wrong. i got to get this in, though. The red <laughs> sticker, what right. is it, what information is it connected? Conveying. I mean, okay, it conveys that there's a young driver behind the wheel. What are people supposed to do with that? What is law enforcement supposed to do with that information when they see it? That, that sticker provides police officers with a tool to be identify, to be able to identify those drivers who are holding either a permit or a probationary license. Right now, they can't do that, so they can't effectively enforce a law, a graduated driver's license law, that's designed to address those things that cause the greatest risk for teens. Multiple passengers, driving late at night, not wearing seatbelts, having electronic devices, cell phones in the car. GDL laws work, but you've got to be able to enforce them. And teens, teens also told the commission they know police can't enforce this law because they can't identify it. So teens clearly told us as well that unless the law's enforced, they're going to break the law. Well, we've heard from teens as well. They're, I think they're a mixed opinion on this one, right, State Senator? Well, no. I go door to door. Oh, you I say they're, they, they I, are I listen to people. People flat out are opposed to this law. Why would you subject a young driver to potential uh, and put them in harm's way? Senator Goodwin, shouldn't you have stopped it or couldn't you have stopped it before May 1st? I mean, this did pass. I was the governor not, did not, sign I was, it. I was not in office at that time. I was not a state senator when this and law you know, passed. I mean, I, okay, but uh, May, may it, it became the, the law May 1st. first. Well, the bill passed, but I became may a state I ask senator. The question, and, Pam, one second, all right. I became a state senator in March after the bill had passed. And my bill is to correct the mistake that the legislature made, admit they made a mistake, and repass this bill, taking this sticker off and not putting our children in harm's way. Right. Listen to the people. Let's the go people back to Pam Fisher. This. You wanted to say something. And you had a question. Lots of yeah, and I want to say this. I want to ask the senator: Has he taken the time to read to read the report? The tremendous amount of work that was done by a group of people who have focused on this for more than three years now, working with the legislature. Has he read that report? I'll be happy to get him a copy so well, he can I, see the rationale behind this. And I, number two, all right, wait, there wait, wait, are many wait, wait, people Pam, who Pam, this Pam, Pam, I'm sorry. I want the state senator to respond to your question, glanced, and then we're going to have to wrap it up. I've glanced through that report, and I do not want any child to be the first child 
to be put in harm's way and have something to happen that, to that child. No parent wants their child to stick out and have a bullseye on their back through this decal. For the time being, at least, it is the law of the land in New Jersey. There will be an important hearing today in Trenton. I know the folks from the uh, Division of Highway Traffic Safety will, uh, will have something to say, uh, your colleagues as well. Pam Fisher, Director of the New Jersey Division of Highway Traffic Safety, thank you very much. State Senator Tom Goodwin, thank, thank, you. thank you. All right, thank we'll you. have you both back. Rosanna, over to you. Okay, thank you.